the paper of uh, the Hitler signature. Uh, Chamberlain. Chamberlain. I'm, I'm bringing you peace. Chamberlain. Yeah, yeah. Out, yeah. We've had Chamberlains in the past. We will mm -hmm. have Chamberlains in the future. But eventually, we will wake up. I, I sure hope so. Uh, in your opinion, uh, you know, there's a, there, there, there's a kind of accepted that uh, Obama's a Christian, but of course there's a lot of voices that he's truly not a Christian. He's a Muslim. You being, uh, you know, you were a Muslim, you are a Christian. You will know them by their by their uh, by their Truth. fruits, and and out of the abundance of the heart, uh, the mouth speak it. What, what, what is your opinion? If you even want to get into it, you don't have to. Well, I'd love to get into it. I mean, where is Obama's testimony? Have anybody heard his testimony of his conversion? If there is such a testimony, does it talk about his critique of Islam? If you leave something, you must be critical of that something. Well, he's only reaching out to, to Islam and Muslims. He's not he's criticizing but, him. He's nothing but complimentary of Islam. And he's nothing but critical of the Bible. Look at Obama and Bible and any YouTube, and you will see the clips. He wants to establish zakat for Muslims, Islamic welfare system in America. Mm -hmm. He said, I will do everything in my power to establish zakat welfare system. That's Sharia. <laughs> and how many Americans know that Obama talked about establishing this Sharia concept in America? Yeah, he I, did. I... He's talked about it. You know, and this is obvious. In fact, I would love to talk about the subject alone for a full hour. <laughs> you know? well, well, we're going to have to get you back for that. It, right now, he's I mean, we're in big, big trouble for economically and everything, and, and Obama is, uh, besides doing national health care, he's also uh, announced that he's going to have a summit on uh, entrepreneurship to build economic ties with the Islamic world and inviting, f you know, from 40 countries, and, and it's going to be all about, you know, building up Muslim countries. How about he builds up our country, you know? So That's I, right. He, he wants to bring Karadawi's daughter. They're talking about bringing Karad, Sheikh Karadawi's daughter. He's the most Muslim fundamentalist, pro-terrorism, Muslim scholar in the world. His daughter is going to come to the U.S. now under the Obama uh, initiative with the Muslim world to bring Muslim students in this country. Mm -hmm. So who is Obama? He's doing the bidding for the Islamists. Yes. But, yeah. Without a doubt. So, so you think... Uh, you think uh, he, you know, he, uh, why, why aren't they, uh, don't, isn't it true that if you are a Muslim and uh, you convert, uh, that uh, you're supposed to be killed? Absolutely. The Quran says, فَإِن تَوَلَّوْا فَخُذُوهُمْ وَقْتُلُوهُمْ Which means, if they renege on the faith, then take them and kill them, wherever you find them. So it's very clear. It's in the Quran. In fact, even Muslims have the travel guide of Islam. In the travel guide of, of, of Muslims, the Muslim travel guide itself say, states that if you travel overseas and your children convert out of Islam, you have to kill them. You know, so... so I've actually heard yeah, of such cases. Um, yeah, it actually does happen. But so, yeah, I don't hear no uh, calls for the assassination of, <clears throat> of Obama uh, from, from the Muslim world. So I guess, you know... Only my assassination. <laughs> only your assassination. Uh, buddy, we have uh, Dennis from... from uh, we have Dennis from Dallas on the line. Hi, Dennis. Hello. Hello. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I've, I've got uh, you on the other line. But uh, let me just... Uh, uh, put the uh, volume down. Yes, um, I am. Uh, I spoke, uh, Volley. I'm uh, so glad to speak with you uh, from here in Dallas. And um, I spoke with Keith the other day. I'm looking forward to helping you get uh, a good crowd in Killeen when you come down in November. Sounds great. We're looking forward to it. Uh, yes, um, I have a question uh, over this um, uh, situation that's going on in the Temple Mount right now. And um, I posted, I posted uh, this morning um, uh, about the, the situation there. Number one, Hezekiah called, and 100,000, 180,000 Assyrians perished. Adrian sacked the temple, and the Roman Empire imploded. The Brits, my former country, reneged on their commitment in the 1920s, and the British Empire is long gone. What are your opinions on uh, w what the situation is with the Temple Mount and uh, the Muslim claims and so on and so forth? Well, my position is that the temple, the temple itself must be built. Now, the question I get asked all the time, how is it going to be built if the Muslims are against building the Temple Mount for the Jews? However, in Islamic Mahdism, there is this idea that the Mahdi will make a covenant with one of the sons of Aaron, 
which means right with Israel. Yes. And if you look like people at people like Adnan Uktar, which is a prominent Muslim scholar in Turkey, he talks about allowing the Jews to build the Temple of Solomon. They don't call it the Temple of Solomon, they call it the Mosque of Solomon. Uh -huh. So it is feasible from Islamic legislation that the Temple can be built. And this basically responds to this question. They say, well, how could the Muslims allow the Jews to build a Temple? This, this, this is why the Antichrist must be a European origin. No, that's not true, not necessarily true. Because the Muslims are the ones who hold you know, claim to the Temple Mount. In other words, they now rule the Temple Mount. It's been preempted to them by the Israeli yes. government. It's yes. not the papacy or the Europeans that rule the Temple Mount, it's the Muslims. Yeah. So the Muslims must give permission to the Jews. And this is why the Mahdi wants, wants, wants it to happen, because he wants to sit and rule from it. In fact, in Islam it says very clearly that the Mahdi will rule from the Temple Mount. In other words, he will enter into the Temple. And that's why, mm -hmm. the, and that's why the Jews are going to embrace him, because he's going to allow them to build, build their Temple? Yes, because you see, it's the era of peace that we have to be aware of. By peace, he will deceive many. It's uh -huh. not the Al-Qaeda mentality that we have, we have to be so much concerned about, though we have to be concerned about them, but it's the peaceful part of Islam that is the one we have to be very concerned about. Is because by peace, Islam is a peaceful religion. This is what they're doing every day, saying Islam is a peaceful religion. Mm -hmm. And we yes. all must say that in unison. Islam is a peaceful religion. And the Bible tells us, by peace he will deceive many. we got to look at the text of the Bible to analyze what kind of a system is threatening us at the moment. And that is definitely Islam, which is claiming to be peaceful. All right. Well, thanks, Dennis. Yes. Good. Thank you. All right, what? take care. What uh, uh, Dennis from Dallas was talking about, and we touched on it a little bit, is uh, that tomorrow there's the International Temple Mount Awareness Day. And the thing is that a lot of people don't realize this. I mean, this is the holiest site of the Jews, the Temple Mount, okay? And they're not, you know, they're not even allowed to pray there. They're, the Jews are not allowed to bring uh, sacred objects uh, uh, to the Temple Mount. And it used to be open until 2000. Uh, to anybody, but then uh, the Infatara started, uh, and and the Israeli government actually shut down the Temple Mount, and and now uh, you know the Muslims have access 24/7, and and the, everybody else uh, has uh, certain days and certain hours, and and they can't uh, they can pray at the Temple Mount. So this is how how crazy this whole situation is. All right, Valita, we're running out of time. What, what would you like to, you know, uh, say at the end? And uh, we really appreciate you being here. I think that we need to focus on the Bible. This is why I call my book God's War on Terror. It's not America's War on Terror. It's not Europe's War on Terror. It's God's War on Terror. God already told us. It's not as God has forgotten to tell us that Islam is the threat is that we have not paid attention to what God has been trying to tell us for the last 2,000 years about the Islamic threat. Well, uh, if anybody is interested out there, uh, Valit, uh, not only that he writes books, uh, he's quite busy. He, he goes around the country and speaks at events and churches. And so if you uh, uh, like to invite Valit or uh, get any more information about him, go to valitshabbat.com. Correct? That's correct. Vali, thank you. It's Shubat.com. Shubat. As you spell the word shoe, oh, and the Shubat. Word bat. Shubat. Shubat.com. Uh, hey, you don't it, have to spell Wally or anything. It, 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 it's uh, English is my second language, just like here, so sometimes I have a little tr trouble reading. Don't feel bad. English is my second language, too. Mm -hmm. My book is filled with grammatical errors. I speak coin English. Oh, I, I, I got to look at your book because I, I love that. If it's tr like written like that, that that's awesome. So, Vali Shubat. Dot com, shubat.com, go to my website, you can find a link every day, uh, over there, and, and Valida, um, we actually, I'm in contact with Keith, and uh, we're, we're trying to... You must to... be Persian, are you Persian? No, I'm actually Czechoslovakian. Czechoslovakian, but you say Valid with a V, mostly Persians say that. Oh, it's 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 my Slavic, I guess. Uh, Slavic, uh, Yeah, I, I, I have a problem with the W, V, and, <laughs> and so actually, I lived in, uh, under communism for half of my life, and I understand that your son wrote a book, and... Uh, something about the connection between Islam and communism, is that true? Oh, yes, for God or for tyranny. All right. I want your son to come on my show and talk about the connection between he Islam and communism because nobody talks about that. 
just, he would love this. All right. I, I'm in touch with Keith. I'll get in touch with him. We'll have your son on and, 